Hey, what's up, y'all? Tonight, I'm going to the Burton Coliseum. Now, I'll tell you why this is cool for me. When I was a little boy, my dad, he used to bring me to all of the uh, truck and tractor pools. He would take me to every air show. He would take me to the boat shows every year. And out here at the Burton, he would take me to the monster truck shows. And I always loved them because it was back in the 80s. We're talking about the original Grave Digger, talking about the original Bigfoot, all the, all the original trucks. Technology's come a long way and they're a lot different now. <clears throat> so I'm excited about going back. I haven't been in about 10 years. I have been in as an adult, but it's been a minute. And tonight I've never done anything like this one. First of all, they started doing it at the Civic Center, which was just so small that it was basically on the gas, jump off, you know, and then turn around, on the gas, jump, stop, you know. So tonight they're back at the Burton for the first time since I was a little kid that I can remember. And they're doing it in the dark and the trucks are all lit up with LED and lights and they're having a drone race show and a couple of other things going on. So uh, for the first time I'm, since I was a little kid with my daddy, shout out to my daddy, by the way. Hey, daddy. I know you're watching, but tonight I'm going into the Burton to see the trucks and I'm inviting all of you guys to come with me and check it out. So let's go. I have to give a huge thank you to my boy Dustin because he won these tickets on Kix96, thanks to Kix96 as well, but he also got me, he's bringing his family and he invited me to join along, but I also have, if I can get it open, a pit pass. So I'm coming up early and I'm gonna get to go down and meet the drivers and see the trucks and all that stuff. So as you can see there's a lot of folks in line already. We're here at the at the Burton and I found Dustin and his crew. Sorry about the wind. What's up man? Thanks for the tickets brother. Appreciate it. <laughs> Say hi, YouTube. Hi. Now, my pit passes will get me down there. We're going to go down there and check out the trucks up close and meet the drivers. I am so ready for this. This is Austin, the driver of Carolina Crusher, and he's gonna take us for a ride. on this one is so dirty but it's clearly an alligator so i'm digging his truck pulling for it tonight i think Uh-oh, we've got blue in the lead. With Pete Ryder Rosa, Pete steals the lead. 
They go through the first, that's what we call the fourth three, that little move maneuver you do that day. Blue's right. Oh, oh, Blue takes down a cake It is out of the race. Richie Peak is in the lead. Can Purple catch up? Let go. Blue Purple catch up.
It's the next day. I forgot to do an outro for this video. Last night was fun. It was a lot of fun, but I have to tell you, Nitro comes here every year, and I've seen them multiple times, but last night was, I don't know, they had a lot of mechanical problems. There were six total trucks. Five of them were competitive trucks, and one of them was a ride-along truck, and only one truck remained without breaking down at the end of the night. Even the ride-along truck broke at the beginning. All four out of the five competitor trucks broke. So, yeah, it was still fun. Don't get me wrong. I'll still go see them again. But they had a lot of problems last night. So, anyway, the drone shows were super cool. That was probably my favorite part. I had never seen the drones race before. That was fun. And uh, the mud riders were fun. So, overall, it was a great night. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys for hanging out.